So we can access Exadata Express from the console, just go to the login screen. From there, you're choosing your data center. In this case, it's Public Cloud Services US. And select My Services. It'll prompt you for your identity domain, and then you need to log in with your details. And so from the dashboard, then just select Exadata Express. And this will take you through to the service details of the service. So we've got a, an instance already created here called Demo. And so everything about the service is accessible from this one page. You don't even need to scroll down, so you can Go straight to Apex from here, go to the specific sections, SQL Workshop, the Application Builder, or the REST services. The first thing you're going to need to do to enable client access is just click this button, and this will allow you to connect any client to it. So, for example, SQL Developer. Next step then is to download the client credentials. So, this zip file contains everything you'll need to connect as a client for SQL Developer or for um, Java Developer Suite or any sort of any sort of connector. In some instances, it will um, expect you to unzip the file, but most of the time you won't need to. So we'll demonstrate that later on. You can also administer the services from here as well. So in this case, I've downloaded my client credential zip file to here. We can click on this to see what's there. So it's all the stuff you'd expect the wallet and the key store to connect to your Java clients. So in this case, I'm just going to connect via SQL Developer just to show you how easy it is to connect. Another important step is to set the admin password. So this is the password for the PDB admin user. This is the admin user set up for this portable database. So in SQL Developer, we already have a connection set up to our on-premise 12C database. So to connect to our PDB in, in Exadata Express, it's really easy. We just hit on the new connection icon. We can call the connection name anything we want. The username is pdb at underscore admin as it is in the dashboard. We're going to save our password. So from the connection type, just select cloud pdb, and this will give us the option to upload our um, client credentials. So this is the zip file we downloaded previously, and the key store password is what you set the admin password to be. And now we can test the connection before we, we save it. And with a bit of luck, we'll see a success message there, and then we can save the, the configuration details. And once we're happy with that, we can connect to the database. And so just to show you how useful this is, we can go back to our on-premise 12C database, and we can just drag and drop a table then into our Exadata Express table. So, so in this case, I'm just going to drag this table up into our tables in the Exadata Express table. We get a confirmation message that it's going to copy it. We've got different options there to replace, do not replace. We'll see the status update in the console. And now if we click on our tables for Exadata Express database, we'll see our table copied across. One thing to note is that you have the latest version of SQL Developer. 4.20 in this case at the time of this video. This is the latest version with the Cloud PDB um, connection available from the drop down. You've also got the option to download the latest version of SQL Developer or any of the drivers from here. This is a this takes you straight through to the OTN page um, embedded in this dashboard. You also have the option of accessing this database from um, Apex straight away from the console. This will take you straight through to the SQL workshop. And from here, we can run commands also on the database. So, so Exadata Express comes with um, Application Express version 5. You've also got access to Application Builder with a sample database pre installed. Which will help you get started testing. We also have access to a library of prepackaged apps that are built with Apex, which you can build on top of or customize. So we can browse those from this gallery. 